In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a trending print-on-demand design, whether it be Merch by Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, etc. I'm gonna pick a trending design that's really working right now, and we're gonna create our own version. It's gonna be very simple, anybody can do it, even beginners with no experience or skills designing. Now follow with me guys, step by step, click by click, so that you can crush it with print-on-demand. Let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is identify which design we're gonna work on, guys. We're gonna to go to this tool that we've developed for you guys for free merchdominator.com we're not going to put any keywords we're just going to click on search on amazon that will give us the current merch by amazon bestsellers we're going to scroll down and click on last 30 days the reason why we do this is so that we can see the latest trends that are crashing it right now and all these products that pop up are just merch by amazon products guys we've designed it specifically to filter these products now the first one that pops up is desantis airlines scroll down so i think i'm going to focus on this design now let's see how much this design in particular makes per month we're going to grab this bsr copy it go to this tool called amz scouts sales estimator select the country usa select the category clothing shoes and jewelry and then enter the bsr value here calculate sales it makes 371 sales per month and they're selling it for the price of $15.99 that gives us a royalty of around 2.21 if i'm not mistaken 2.21 times 371 sales it gives us 819 dollars per month and i know for a fact that this sales estimator is very conservative i'm going to say it sells at least a thousand dollars per month now we're going to check if the niche itself is working how we're going to do it we're going to take the keywords the census airlines put them in the tool like so and click on search on amazon right looking at the bsr looks decent now we're going to choose which design we want to work on i think i'm going to work on a mixture of designs as we're scrolling down this one caught my eye i think i'm going to put desantis here and airlines here and then bring in the border to you with a different font maybe and then maybe some stars underneath and an airplane silhouette here anyway we'll see if we can make it work but first i'm going to take a screenshot of the design so i can get some inspiration so there's our artboard the first thing we're going to do is create a background come over here rectangle tool draw our background this is not 100 black so we're going to go over here double click fully black okay lock the layer next we're going to bring in the design that we're going to use as inspiration bigger like so and now i'm gonna draw the runway pretty simple we're gonna get a pen tool and start drawing like so connect the dots boom shakalaka change the color from black to white like so bit by bit until we are done i think that looks about right refine it a little bit now we're gonna bring in an airplane where can we get the silhouette from so i literally came here and typed airplane it looks like i'm gonna choose this one right here simply click on it and click on here to download it and if you want to get unlimited access to over 4 million fonts and designs for just one dollar i'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description it's definitely a deal you don't want to miss anyway now that we have our airplane we're simply gonna click on it copy it by clicking on Control c or or command c if you have a mac like me and paste enlarge this shape change it to white like so make it bigger perfect next we're going to get a font where can we get it from creative fabrica of course so i went ahead and typed distress selected fonts and it looks like we're going to use this font right here just to see what it looks like click on my text tool there's my font jt distressed make it white desantis and then i'm going to duplicate like that and a command d if you have mac or shift d it will duplicate like so again and again perfect select all make it smaller i think that's about right again i'm going to type airlines and i'm going to duplicate above like so and then command d perfect now watch the magic happen guys i'm going to select all airlines command g to group or control g and then command shift o or control shift o if you have windows so that we can make outlines alternatively you can just go to type and go to create outlines when you have a live text this will be available but at the moment we don't have a live text so it won't be available we're going to go to the free transform tool this one right here click on it and we're going to select this option right here now check how we're going to change the perspective guys beautiful watch this boom gonna make it look very realistic until we're happy i think it's about time i remove the background all right there we have it i'm gonna do the same thing with this one select all command g or control g and then command shift o control shift o if you have windows of course guys again i don't need to say command and control command is for mac control is for windows they're interchangeable again free transform free distort check this out 
like so again. Anyway, keep improving it until you're happy with the perspective. I think this is fine for now. Next, I'm going to use another font. This font is called Buinton Rough. There's a few things that I want to add, maybe a circle around here or half a circle at least three quarters, whatever. I'm gonna go to the ellipse tool like so. To make a perfect circle, you have to click on shift. I'm gonna remove the fill and add the stroke in white. Grow the stroke, make it maybe 40. I think that's fine. Now I'm gonna cut the circle around here. I'm gonna select my circle, click on transparency, make mask, go into the mask, click on clip, and then make a rectangle like so. Remove the stroke, make a fill in black, because you want to delete that part. As you can see, as soon as I made it black in mask, it kind of disappeared, but it's not fully disappeared. So I have to make it 100% black. Now I can play around with the mask however I want. As I move the mask, it changes the transparency. I think I'm going to put it somewhere around here. I think that works. Now, one other thing, we want to make some transparency around here. It's like we're going to cut around the shape of the airplane. Same principle again. We're going to copy the airplane. We're going to click on the circle, go to the mask. We already have a mask. So we're just going to paste the airplane inside the mask. I did command shift and V so that we can paste in place. Make the stroke black again, just like that. Fully black and then make it maybe 20, not enough. 40, maybe 50. Align stroke to outside. Now that's probably too big. Uh, make it 30. I think that's fine. Go back to transparency. Get out of the mask. There we go. I think that looks all right. Now, the other thing that I want to do is make this and this and this as well distressed. But actually, before we do that, let's add some stars maybe here. I'm going to go to my star tool like so. And then we're going to create our stars. Perfect. Click on Alt Shift and drag to duplicate and Command D to duplicate again. We're going to group it, centralize it. I think the design is done. Again, I want to create a Fabrica. Search for grunge texture. There's plenty around. I'm going to download this one, this one, just to try a few of them out. I think I'm going to settle on this one right here. I'm going to copy it, come over here. I'm going to select this shape, this shape, this shape, this one as well, and this one. I don't think I'm going to add it to this one right here because it's already distressed. And if I overdo it, it's not going to look good. But first, I'm going to try it like this. If it works well, then I'll leave it. If it doesn't, then we're going to try and incorporate the DeSantis Airlines text as well. All right, I'm going to group it. Command G. Again, go to make mask, enter the mask, click on clip, and then paste my texture. I'm going to make it bigger, play around with it, position it in such a way that it looks good. Maybe make another copy. So copy and paste Put it down here somewhere. Maybe another copy. I'm going to group it again, all of it centralize it make sure that it looks good make it bigger so it fills the entire canvas take it up a little bit like so because we want the design to be positioned in such a nice way let me know what you guys think obviously there are plenty of ways that you can make this design i saw a particular design got inspired by it added a few bits and pieces a few elements i got this idea of the half circle from this design right here so it's very easy guys to create variations something that's unique something that has never been done before just by taking inspiration from different designs our design i'd say is quite unique compared to the competition and that's what gives you a little bit of an edge anyway let me know what you think in the comments and guys to download this design pretty simple remove the background go to file export export for screens name your design export artboard like so and there's our design guys again if you guys want to benefit from the deal that i told you about for creative fabrica and limited access to over 4 million fonts and designs you can get it for just one pound i leave you a link in the description below just click on here and follow the steps to register and if you guys need a merch by amazon account or you know someone who needs one i'm going to leave you a link down below in the description you'll get it within 24 hours of purchase i'll also leave you below a crash course for merch by amazon along with 200 plus profitable print on demand niches a link to check out my full ultimate merch by amazon course that's helped hundreds of people crush merch by amazon and if you guys don't have time to do niche research i'm going to leave you a link for my niche research service i hope you got some value out of this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel leave me a comment down below with your questions or suggestions hit the notification bell button to get notified as soon as i upload a new video and i'll see you in the next one